Hi again. In this program, I want to take a look at balancing redox reactions. To do that, I've listed a set of steps that we're going to go through, and we'll use this one as an example. First, I'm going to determine the oxidation states of all the species that are involved. So, again, from the charge, I know that that charge equals the oxidation state. Here I have an element. Oxygen, I know, is minus 2, making each silver here a plus 1. Now, to identify the two half reactions, one reaction is reduction, one is oxidation. So I can take a look here at the silver, and I can see that its charge has been reduced. So this represents the reduction half reaction. On the other hand, the iron is undergoing oxidation and an increase in its charge. So let's break it into the two half reactions. So first of all, the silver turning into silver oxide turning into silver. The first thing I'm going to do is balance everything other than hydrogen and oxygen. So I'll need a two here to balance the silvers. Now to balance the oxygens, I'm going to add a water molecule to this side. To balance the hydrogens, we'll add two hydrogen ions. And now finally to balance the charge. On this side, the total charge right now is zero. And the total charge on this side right now is plus two. You always go to the higher side and add electrons to bring it down to match. So in this case, I'm going to add two electrons here. And I now have a balanced half reaction. Let's do the same thing with the iron. So iron is a 2 plus, turning into iron 3 plus. Quickly going through the steps, there is only one iron on both sides. There is no hydrogen, there is no oxygen, so I can go right to the charge. I go to the higher side and I add an electron and that will now bring it in balance, both of these sides now being plus two. I now want to put these two reactions together. And to do so, I have to make sure that the number of electrons lost and gained are equal. So with two electrons here, I'm going to have to double this equation to match the number of electrons lost and gained. Then we'll add them together. So I know right away that by doubling, I'm going to be canceling out my electrons. So if I take a look at what's left, I have the silver oxide, two hydrogens from the first equation, and I'll have two iron two plus, forming two silver, a water molecule, and two iron, three plus. I'm now going to verify that indeed the species are balanced. So let's start off by checking out the two silvers on both sides, two hydrogens on both sides, one oxygen and two iron. And finally also check that the charge is balanced. The total charge on this side, two of these at three plus make it plus six on this side. This species gives me plus four, and the two hydrogen ions plus two. So indeed, I also have a balance of charge. That's an important step to also verify. So I now have a total balanced redox equation. Let's go through one that's a little bit more difficult. So in this particular case, my, my two half reactions, one of them is going to be S2O4, 2 minus, turning into the sulfate ion. And the other half reaction will be oxygen, turning into, well, we'll see how to do that one. First, let's start with the top one. Balance by putting two here to balance my sulfur. To balance my oxygens, I'm going to require four 
water molecules to bring the oxygens into balance. And that means I'll need eight hydrogen ions. Checking the charges now on this side of the equation, I have uh, minus four and plus eight for a total of plus four. And on this side, I have a charge of just two minus. Uh, to bring these then into balance, I go to the higher side and I'm going to add six electrons and I now have a balanced half reaction. Now, back to the oxygen. Well, we'll follow through our same steps. Balance everything other than hydrogen and oxygen. So we're done here. Balance the oxygens by adding water. So that means on this side of the equation, to balance this, I'm going to add two water molecules. Now we'll balance by adding the hydrogen ion. And lastly, the charge. Total charge on this side is zero. Total charge on this side right now is plus four. So as a result, I'm going to add four electrons. So these are now balanced. Now to bring these into agreement, I have to have the number of electrons gained and lost being equal. In this case, the common multiple being 12. Um, I'm going to have to take this equation here and double all of my species in it. And this lower equation, I'm going to have to multiply by 3 to balance all of the species present here. And when I do that, I know my electrons will then balance at 12 each. So let's go through adding it then together. Now we'll simplify the expression a little bit. First of all, I recognize I have hydrogen ions on both sides, so I can remove those 12 and reduce that 16 down to just 4. And similarly, I can take a look at the water molecule, 6 on this side and 8 over on this side, so I can essentially cancel that out and reduce the 8. down to two. My final step, a, a quick check that I balanced everything. So I have four hydrogens on this side and four hydrogens here. I check on the oxygens, there's two there, eight there, 10, 16 oxygens, and four times four gives me 16 oxygens, four sulfurs and four sulfurs. So um, we've balanced. In our next um, section, we'll take a look at the Winkler equation, which is the use of balanced redox reactions to determine the amount of oxygen that's present in water. Thanks for watching.